So this is the final lap of the uh, Carnegie Caulfield Criterium on Tuesday nights. This is the uh, B-grade race. Uh, this circuit at Sandown is a car racing track. It's 3.2 kilometres long, so it's closer to a Kermis uh, style of race, but um, it's still a Criterium. And um, yeah, so we're, we've raced for 55 minutes, coming into the last lap, and let's look at the course. So this is Sandown Racetrack just outside of Melbourne. It says it's a 28 kilometre ride. Um, it'll usually take you about an hour. I don't know why it says an hour and 44 minutes there. I think Google thinks that you're riding a penny farthing or a skateboard or something, but it's a, it's a short ride out there. And if we go over to the actual course, uh, they go around in an anti-clockwise direction. This course is usually used for, by race cars, but um, on Tuesday and Thursday nights, the local cycling community use it for racing. Carnegie Caulfield are on Tuesday night and Southern Masters on a Thursday night. So where my cursor is now is where the start finish line roughly is. They go around in an anti-clockwise direction. Usually they do it in the evening, so it's a southerly wind blowing up this in this direction. So this back straight's a tailwind straight, uh, tailwind uh, up the hill. And then you get some respite down through this sharp turn here. A lot of people pedal through this corner and there's usually a lot of crashes. So uh, this corner here particularly, you need to go through it and not pedal as you go through it. And then they, uh, the guys come through a chicane here. That's the final turn there. And then it's roughly 350 metres up to the start finish line. Uh, I've actually measured it out in this uh, Google Earth image. So final turn, it says it's 355 metres up to the, Caulfield, the Carnegie Caulfield start finish line. This is where Southern Masters have their finish line. But, uh, so it's a little bit shorter on Thursday nights. But uh, the moral of the story with this is a lot of guys start sprinting early and uh, with this course, especially into a headwind, it's usually a southerly wind blowing here, you sort of need to leave your sprint to the very last minute, which is about here. But anyway, let's get over to the racing and have a look. So back straight, you can see the power on the left there. We've jumped up to 1100 watts as a few guys uh, sort of get a bit twitchy up this hill. So this isn't a really steep hill, but it's enough to hurt the legs. And um, so everyone's vying for position here. We pretty much all know it's going to be a bunch sprint finish unless someone attacks. And this is probably, if you're not a sprinter, this is the best place to attack um, for you because uh, if, you, if you don't think you can win the sprint, then uh, jump off the front, which this guy has done. So I've made a little bit of an error here in that I've jumped on the second guy's wheel and I'm, th you know, I'm right at the very front of the bunch, which is not good because... When this guy sits up eventually, I'm sort of left on the front into a headwind up the home straight. And as a sprinter, you don't want that. So I've pulled out to the right. I want to let a few guys through and uh, see if I can edge my way back into the bunch. There's uh, Matt Newton from Phoenix Racing Team. So he's a, he's a very good sprinter in the uh, or, or rider in the B-grade bunch. And this is that notorious corner I was talking about. Guys, pedal through this corner. You can see this guy went down, and this has happened a couple of times. You can see his inside pedal touches the ground, back wheel lifts off, and down he goes. And then he's also not wearing gloves. So there's two lessons. Uh, always wear gloves in races, and uh, don't pedal through really sharp turns. He was all right in the end. He just took a bit of skin off his hands and, um, and his legs. But, you know, crashes happen to everyone in, in bike racing. So you just it's just a part of the sport. Um, so, we look, we're uh, coming into that little chicane I was talking about earlier. I'm on Matt's wheel. I know he's a fast sprinter, so it's a good wheel to be sitting on. Um, it's a pretty good position. I mean, you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth through to eighth on this course is a, is a good place to be, unless it's a tailwind sprint. You want to be closer to the front if this was a tailwind, but tonight it was a bit of a headwind. So we're really revving it up here. You can see my wattage on the left is jumping up, and the one mistake I made here is I sort of... There's um, Gatesy. I've got his name as Al Gates, so he ended up winning it, but my wheel's on the left of Matt's, and I had to stop pedaling and then jump again to go to his right. And you can see it's a that was the finish line there. So it's a bit of a blanket finish, first, second, through, through to fourth. Um, Gatesy on the inside there in the white got it. And uh, God knows who where the rest of us came. I ended up getting second place officially, but um, I don't know. But you can see if we just quickly look at this, my wheels to the left-hand side of Matt's, and I can't go left. So I had to look at my power. I had to stop pedaling virtually get out around Matt and then kick again back up to, I think I got up to 1200 watts, but 
you know, it was probably a bit late in the end to get Gatesy and, uh, but, you know, good, good race, really good race and lessons learned and, you know, I could have sort of, the lesson I learned there is I could have hung off him a little bit, but um, anyway, next time. And you see we're all having fun. No one knows who, who got what, so uh, we're just exchanging a bit of banter about that. But um, look, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these videos, give it a thumbs up on YouTube and um, share it with your friends and uh, we'll just keep doing these videos.